Hello everyone, it is Dee Dee's Bricks here, and this build was never meant to be, until I made this guy. So I'll start off with him. So this, so after getting the Captain America Avengers Endgame set, let me turn off this light real quick. There we go. Let me come closer. There we go. Um. So after getting that Captain America Lego Avengers Endgame set, I was like, I wonder what Ghost Rider's like head would look like on the Quantum Realm suit. And I actually seen an Instagram post with like his head on it, and he was in like a cool pose, as if like it's like it was like this, and it was as if he just like phew, like dropped from the ground and just like landed on it. Uh, it looked pretty cool. Uh, and so I was like, I want to, like, I have a quantum suit, and I have the Ghost Rider figure. Let's tr test it out. And it looks amazing, in my opinion. Um, now, this is, now, since this is from the, excuse me, uh, like, Spider-Man set, it looks a little bit more cartoony. Excuse me, and not more and more, like, not like a real person. But, um, I guarantee you if Lego, like, it, it does look like a real person. Like, if I were to put Ghost Rider like this, in, in an endgame set, it might actually look real. So yeah, all you need to do to make this figure is the Ghost Rider head, and then any of the Quantum Realm suits from any of the endgame sets, because they have at least one in every set. Oh wait, no. Nah, -uh, no, not the Hall of Armor. Okay, so if you only have the Hall of Armor for now, you're screwed. <laughs> so, they have them in every set except for the Hall of Armor. They even have them in the Poly Bag. Alright, and then, of course, you have his chain, so let's get him out of here. This is the star of the show right now. I am going to turn this light back on. This is the Quantum Hell Cycle. So, I wanted to... So, my original idea was to basically use only the pieces that were used in the real set, but just change the color up. Well, then I got to thinking, that's stupid, I should add more stuff, because if it's a Quantum Hell Cycle, then that means he got upgraded, so he should have a better look to him. Well, so first I'll start on the front. This, uh, here, let me fold these down, actually. So starting up on the front, this, uh, skull here, they used an Exonite shield to look like a skull. They, as far as I know, they don't have one in white. I mean, I don't have one in white, basically, so I'd made as best as I could. And then I have a couple, like, teeth pieces here, and then one there and one there to give it more of, like, an armorish look. And then I don't have a white grill like piece like this, which is actually very surprising. But also there is some black on the quantum suit, so you got to match it up. And then fun little fact: uh, so I got these uh, these white wings from a space police set. That those that theme is a very old theme. But um, guess what? This one's broken, and I only have three. And the other one, my third one, is also broken. So yeah. But luckily, the fire kind of hides that chipped part. And I gave him the goat horns from... I have a, I got a Lone Ranger set, and in the Lego Lone Ranger set that I got, it had like a goat skull, and then it had uh, these. I don't know if it was a goat skull or not. Maybe it was a bull skull. I don't know. But, um... And I put these horns on because it kind of looks cooler. I'll show you how it, cool it looks when I put them on. And then I added some teeth pieces here. So, like, when you're driving him... He can, like, lean, so that also helps to, like, stabilize it. It does change it if he wants to turn, but then again, also, if you want to make him turn, his both the tires have to come off the ground anyways. Um, I kept these black, like, vent pieces, or, like, a blackish look. I kept all the red pieces from the original set, and then I changed this seat to red because I figured there needs to be some more red. Because there is red on this suit. And there's quite a lot, actually. And then I left some dark right there for, like, the seat. And, um, I changed these to black, like... And, and then let me fold out this fire. Oops, the fire broke. On the back of this seat here... Oopsies. If I can just get it out of there. I can't. Okay. Oh, oh, there you go. I made it white. I made the back of this seat white and added some more white teeth pieces, but they're like different ones uh, for that seat. So I basically just changed it from being black to white and added some other 
uh, pieces that were actually a part of the set, and then ones that weren't in a different color. So if you put them on the bike, it actually looks really cool. Here, let me lean him back, actually. There we go. So he look, it does, he's obviously not gripping onto it, but from a front view, he looks like he does. If, like, you take the chain out and you move that in the right position. Actually, you can't... He, wait a minute, hang on. I'm going to show you guys Ghost Rider's view in his bike. Right here. All he sees is the... <laughs> I bet Lego thought of that, and they were like, Oh, wait, we need to put a flat shield down here, because then Ghost Rider can't even see. But I did not even realize that until now. But I really don't care, because this skull makes it look cool. And I was even thinking of making the entire bike longer, but then again, people were kind of giving this set hate because of the size of the bike, but I don't care. So the hell cycle in the quantum realm would probably end up having to be bigger, like, like this big, because it might break in the quantum realm. But yeah, and he's also Ghost Rider, so he's kind of immortal, but not completely. So yeah, uh, I'm going to get into the build tutorial now, but before I do that, I need to get a thumbnail.
And that's the build tutorial of the Ghost Rider Quantum Hell Cycle. Let me know your honest opinion on this build in the comment section down below. And more mocks coming in coming soon. Yes, this is a mock, my own custom. Um, you have the one coming on September 6th, but, I mean, you can look forward to that, but it's not it's not here yet. I am currently make trying to make a Captain America vs. Outrider mock using the new Captain America head and helmet that I got out of the Endgame set. Putting it by putting it on like a normal Captain America body, excuse me, and then taking the five Outrider minifigures I have and using them to build a mock of Cap, like basically fighting off five Outriders at once. So that mock is coming soon. I don't know when. Probably not this Friday. Uh, wait, no, today's Friday. <laughs> I'm stupid. Uh, I meant probably not next Friday. Probably longer and way after that. Uh, I'm 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 trying to figure out mocks that I can show off to you guys in the meet. Ooh, actually, you know what? I I just remembered. I have a custom minifigure coming out on Monday, and actually, okay, it's it, it, if you take two specific minifigures and you put them together, and it can actually look like two different people. I'll, it, it doesn't, it might not make sense well, the way I said it right now, but trust me, it'll make sense during the video. So look forward that, to that on Monday. That will be Minifigure Monday, Episode 3. Episode 1 was my, was the custom Jason that I got. Episode 2 was Most Sard, you know, Morgash TV. They are abandoned exploration YouTubers that I watch. They're really cool. Go, please go subscribe to them. And then Minifigure Monday, Episode 3, not gonna say who. But, anyways guys, peace out, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye for now.